All right, so as of right now, there are basically four major connectors on the market. And let's arrange these by power output. Okay, so right here, this is the pH 2.0. There was a pH 1.7. Pretty much nobody uses that anymore, so I'm kind of not including that. So this is a pH 2.0. This is just, this is probably the most common connector on the market right now. Uh, and a lot of quads, if you buy it, it will come with this connector, like most of the newbie drone quads do. Um, basically anything other than the beta FPV quads will come with this connector. And this one is the least amount of current available. Um, so there are restrictions in the pins or because the pins are so small, they are current limited. And then going up from there, we have this one. This is the BT 2.0. This is a licensed product by beta FPV. It is a much better connector than this one as far as uh, energy throughput is but they're a bit more expensive and it's hard to find good, well, it was hard to find good batteries that came with that connector pre-installed on the end of the cell. This one just has a remote lead on it. There are other ones where it is mounted like this. Uh, Tattoo and I believe um, Newbie Drone are starting to make uh, ones with the BT-2.0 connector on it, but uh, this is a much more expensive connector for the manufacturers because they have to pay like a, a royalty to beta FPV for this thing, but it is a better connector than this one. Then there's this, this is the GMB 27. It's even higher throughput than either of these, a little bit higher. Uh, and this is made by GMB. And I don't know if there's a licensing fee on this. This is probably the least common that I'm seeing of the connectors, the GMB 27. But I personally have had a lot of issues with this connector and it's not so much the connector issue, but it's the, like when you buy them, they come pre-soldered to a pigtail and the solder joints suck. But uh, this is a good connector. And then we have XT30, probably the least common to see on a 1S package, but this is by far the, uh, the highest current rated connector out there, but it's also heavy. So you don't see a lot of quads flying with these. Um, this is kind of like if you're going to build something from FPV cycle, you're probably going to, you know, their, their builds kind of recommend, uh, an XT30 and there's, I think this is about the only one S pack I've seen with an XT30 on it from the factory. Otherwise you've got to modify your other batteries with that connector. So that's kind of the rundown of the basic connectors that people are using for 1S. Like I said, there are a few other outliers. There's there's Micro Lozy, there's PH 1.7. There's also like a JST, a little red connector, but those are kind of gone the way of the dodo. People don't really use those anymore, but these are the four major ones you're gonna see out there. And you just gotta kind of figure out which one it is you want. I personally usually pick the BT 2.0 because these are, even on paper, they're better than the the pH 2.0, but if the cell that it's attached to sucks, then it doesn't really matter. So there's two ends of the equation. You got to find a good cell and you got to find a good connector. And that's where kind of the issue is, but I'm tired. It sucks that the, that it's getting fraction, uh, it's getting fractionalized out, like not fractionalized, but it, you know, the, the what's available is getting cut up. I mean, it used to be just this. So you didn't really have to shop around. It was, everything was pH 2.0 then. In the last few years, we've had other options come out.